Good morning. I'm your host, Kamari Faison. And I'm Ansley Wilkerson. And this, and this is, is Around, Around Cape, Cape Fair in five, 5 Minutes. On September 28th, three students auditioned for North Carolina Honors Course. Out of a thousand potential auditioners across North Carolina, 176 were chosen. And one of Cape Fair's own, Andre Portis, was selected. Congratulations to Andre and his placement in the North Carolina Honors Course. All county audition tutoring will begin October 16th at 3.45 to 4.30 in the chorus room, room 128. All students enrolled in chorus for fall or spring of the 2023-2024 school year is eligible. For more information, see Mr. Britt in room 128. Kfer is holding their first chapter meeting after school in Ms. Cox's room 226 from, 4, from 3.45 to 4.45. Please be on time. The Skills USA meeting will be moved to Friday morning, October 13th at 7.45 a.m. Everyone enrolled in Mr. Casey's, Mr. Black's, Ms. Norton's, or Ms. Woodlock, Ms. Woodcox is automatically enrolled in Skills USA and is welcome to attend the meeting and learn more about Skills USA as a CTSO. The next international club meeting will be on Monday, October 9th. See Ms. Hawks in room 228, 218 for questions. Now here's Jack and Taylor with Colt Sports Daily. Thanks, guys. Good morning, Colt Nation. I'm your host, BBQ Dad. BBQ Daddy. And I'm just Jackson Edwards. And this is Colt Sports, Sports Daily, featuring Colt the Clock. Soccer took on 71st yesterday and won 5 to 1. The win keeps the boys in first place in the conference at 9 to 1 overall, uh, 9 to 1 and 12 and 5 overall. Congratulations, fellas. Girls tennis was once again victorious on an emotional senior night. Mm -hmm. They beat Grace Creek 9-0. They finished at a perfect 14-0 in the United 8 and finished the regular season as conference champions for the fourth year in a row. Woo! Now they gear up for the playoffs. Can we go back to back to, to back? back? No cap. Boys cross country won their meet yesterday at Grace Creek with a 34. The girls team finished second with a 57. Some of the top runners were... Oh, thanks, well, Owen. Thanks, Owen. Uh, some of the top runners for the girls were Lake and Clevenant with a 24-36. Amelia Osornio with the 27-23, and Kamaya McNeil with the 28-51. Woo! Good job, ladies. And for the fellas, Benjamin Castro Locklear with the 19-44. Khalil Marshall with the 20-04, and Jordan Price with the 21-02. Let's give it up. Congratulations for our cross-country team. Volleyball is home this evening for senior night. The ladies will take on Jack Britt. Come help support our championship team as they move to close out the regular season. Good luck, ladies. Sink the ship, hijack the Brit. Woo! And that does it for Cold Sports Daily. I'm BBQ Daddy. <laughs> and I'm just Jackson Edwards. And this was Cold Sports, Sports Daily. Daily. Feeder in, go on the clock. Back to you. Thanks, guys. We're almost through homecoming week. Get ready to cheer on the team as they take on Douglasburg High School. Spirit Week continues today. The last two themes are today, Barbecue Dad versus Soccer Moon. Tomorrow, Fear Friday, Coat Spirit Colors. Tomorrow during fourth period, Hoko Pep Rally. Tomorrow before the home football game. Our Cape Fear homecoming royalty will be crowned. Now here is Dan and Michaela for the weather. Thanks, y'all. Once again, the weather is happening today. Um, right now it is 65 degrees and mostly it is sunny. It's a high of 82 and a low of 64. That's it for the weather today. Y'all have a good one. Thanks guys. Varsity Girls Lacrosse will hold an interest meeting today directly after school in room 108. All are welcome and they would love to have you stop by to see what lacrosse is all about. There will be an interest meeting for basketball cheerleading on Wednesday, October 11th, after school in room 207. Indoor track will have an interest meeting Wednesday, October 11th, in the Aux Gym. Now we will highlight a notable Hispanic figure, American figure from American history. Today we celebrate the contributions of Antonia Novello. She was the first woman and the first Hispanic woman to become Surgeon General of the United States. As Surgeon General, she focused on the health of young people, women and minorities, minorities and spoke against drinking, smoking, and drug abuse. Sure. And that does it for announcements. This has been Around Cape Fear in 5 Minutes. I'm Ansley Wilkerson. And I'm Kamari Faison. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, Colts. Remember, co-pride is shown by doing the right thing in and out of the classroom. 
Make, make it, it a, a date. date. Very, Very cool. cool. Everybody <laughs>